Hi, right, Norwich City TV, it's Elliot Bennett. I'm just at the Cecil Gowling Infant School to join in a dance lesson with the kids. It's a great experience to come into schools and you know just to see the smiles on uh, the youngsters' faces and you know it's good to see that you know infant schools are taking uh, in activities you know like PE and sport uh, you know really seriously and you know the kids seem to really enjoy it so uh, no it was good to come down. Uh, today was part of our school sports program. We work with 72 partner schools across Norfolk and we work with around 11,000 children a week taking part in either sporting activities or creative dance which is either gym or dance as today. It was just kind of getting the children uh, to be able to control their bodies in different ways, move different limbs and multiple limbs all at the same time which then once they kind of put it into a sporting context hopefully the fundamentals of movement will be kind of better than they have been before. We were working with you ones today. Um, at that age, it's really about bringing the basis of dance into their sessions. Um, we're working on the imagination, building the basis of leg stretching, working through the feet, really trying to get them working towards all those needs for dance, really technical needs. So, with your feet, spread out a little bit, so we work in 72 schools where we take all of their PE provision in schools and we work in on average around 112 schools a week where we could deliver just extracurricular activities, lunchtime clubs as well, which hopefully ticks off the school's kind of sporting context. So it's safe to say kind of across the county you guys are in schools really working on, on the physical development side of things? Massively. Uh, kind of using the carrot of both football, sport and the football club is kind of a massive one to help pupils want to take part in sport where some barriers might have been in the way previously. You know, when people used to come to my school, I used to look and think, oh, wow, I'd love to be you one day. And, you know, you know, I'm very fortunate we get the opportunity to come and, you know, and people, you know, are genuinely happy to see you and with a smile on their face. So, you know, it's great to, to be able to come down to, to schools and be, you know, part of the community and be welcomed as well as uh, we always are.